Good morning. We're going to start out our first video today. Um, so today we're doing stepping stones. So um, we bought some cool kits from, uh, from a craft store locally and we're going to, uh, to make those today. So here we go. So we're gonna do some unboxing here. This is our kit. I've gotten three of them. Basically, it's just a uh, stepping stone kit that comes with some things to, to do the process. It comes with our concrete powder. The instructions say to add water with this um, to get the right viscosity. <laughs> we have a mold here for our stepping stone. These are a little bit smaller. I wanted some bigger stepping stones, but this will still be fun. Um, they come with some mosaic pieces in the kit as well as some letters and numbers. Um, we've got instructions and some wax paper and things as well. So um, the instructions indicate that we need it to um, to set up before we can really do any kind of crafty decorating with it. So I'm going to mix these guys up. I've noticed now that I have uh, acquired two different types of kits. So on this one, the shape is different. Um, so we have the same package here of our cement dust. Um, but this one comes with a, what shape is this? Um, is it a hex hexagon? Hexagon. So we have our hexagon um, tray instead of the square one. This one actually also comes with some different types of mosaic pieces. So um, this one has different colors and things. The other one, they, they weren't quite as cool. So, so this kit is cooler. Has the same letters and things, same instructions. Um, so we're going to get started. So the first thing in the instruction says to mix up the bag really well to make sure that the cement and sand in there is mixed up well because that will make your stone set better. So we're mixing. So the instructions say to do 430 milliliters of water. Um, and then the instructions on the other box, which has the square um, template, says to use approximately 500 mLs of water. Um, and those two kind of even out to about two or a little bit less than two cups of water. Um, and then you're supposed to get all of the air you can out and then mix it up. Grab a bag. So, we have water in our bags. I can already feel some filming in this. There's some Ow. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be hard to mix it first. Um, it's kind of iffy on how much water you're going to put in based on how it feels. Um, and I double bagged these before we started mixing because we had a little bit of a situation a minute ago where things got pretty messy. The instructions say to add an extra uh, little bit of water if the mixing is difficult, and you're supposed to add additional water by teaspoon. Um, I'm pretty uh, pretty bad about that, so I just kind of guessed at it. Um, I didn't have to put extra water in all of them, um, but just two of them, and now they have a bit of a um, well-mixed, kind of squishy texture to them. So now we're going to mold them. So now the instructions say to carefully place um, everything in the mold here. And what it says to do is um, to carefully do this, and you can use... That's a big chunk. Of that was a big chunk. Um, to use dowels um, to kind of mix it up. You can also simply shake it up um, to kind of get things mixed well and to remove all the bubbles. I think it may have been a good idea to add a little bit more water into these because uh, they're a little chunky. Um, but it says to shake them to try and get things mixed up well. Um, so I am very nervous. <laughs> but we're going to try and gently shake them to try and get them spread out. So just wiggle them. Um, Matthew informed me, but this is also what you do with slime. You have to shake it, shake it, shake it. So, shaky, shaky. You have to leave it on the counter, though, please. Okay. I can see some bubbles. There's bubbles. Uh-uh, no touchy. Don't get it on your hands. 
Do your nails will turn into cement? No, your hands won't turn into cement, but it's not good for it to be on your skin. It will really hurt. It won't hurt. It's just not good. I do see some bubbles coming out, though. So, yeah, gently shake. We're going to spread it out. I think I'm going to have to mix it up with something. Can I turn it? I don't think turning it's a good idea. You're going to sling it. Well, how did it get on your skin? I, I didn't. I, I forgot that was right there. And I, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, this is a messy job. I've already gotten it on my shirt. It's been all over Matthew's shirt. It's been in the floor. Um, well, maybe a good idea to do a task like this outside. Yeah. So this one is like pretty chunky on the inside. Um, so I've actually added a little bit more water. Um, I think it's actually pretty difficult to be mixing this stuff up in the bags that it comes with. Um, so I'm, I'm mixing with a uh, disposable spoon. Um, hoping it'll, it'll do a little better here. <sighs> okay, so the disposable spoon didn't make it long. <laughs> um, so I've sacrificed a, a legitimate real spoon. Um, added water, lots of mixing hand cramps. Um, but I think we've got a good viscosity now. Um, uh-oh, baby fingers. So, I've got it kind of mixed up pretty well here, I think. And what we do is we let it set. Okay, so it's been about an hour. We've given um, mm -hmm. our stones time to set up. I've also opened up the packages. Um, for so we have all of our mosaic pieces. Um, even clear ones. And we have our stamps, our letter stamps that came with it. Um, for spelling out our names. And then our stones are looking pretty consistent. Um, I tested by placing a letter in each of them. Um, and whenever I decided, you know, to get rid of it, all I really had to do was um, use my spoon and uh, flatten it back out. So this is going to be pretty forgiving when it comes to mistakes. But uh, it's time to decorate. Okay. So I wish I would have gotten larger stones because I feel like our hands are a little big for these. It's going to be kind of hard to decorate around it. Not my So we're going to wiggle our little fingers in there. I'm hoping the imprint lasts pretty well. Let me get a spoon and see if I can kind of spread it out around your fingers a little better. So looks like it almost set up a little too much, didn't it, Trin? Well, look at mine. Okay. Look Matthew, you better not cold. be touching your hand to that yet. It's, it's cold? cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick your hand up. Let's see how it looks. All right, all right, it's in there. Okay, messy hand. Go wash it. Yes. All right, Bubba. Oops, I hit you in the front head. Okay, spread fingers spread out. Move that hand. Okay, your squish is a little better. Yeah. Sissy's was... Uh, Sissy's stone set up a little worse than this one, but yours but, looks good. I know, but see how my hands are smaller than the stone? So Lots of wiggles. Okay, now we're going to pick up. Yeah, yeah, look at your hand. All right, let me see your messy hand. Not too bad. All right, go wash it. Okay, I only thought I was scared before. So, let's try with a little bitty hand. Are you ready? <gasps> look, look, look. Look, look, look. Spread your fingers out. <laughs> spread up, spread <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, spread, <laughs> spread your fingers. Ah, ah. Is that I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Spread, 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 spread. <laughs> He does not like it. Uh, okay. Look at Dirty baby here. Dirty baby. I'm going to be. Okay, so we're stamping our names. Yes. So this one is Trins. Yes. And so it has a T R I N says Trin. Tell me why your nickname is MG. Because 
This is, uh, this is my dad's name. But what does MG stand for? Matthew. Matthew what? Green. So Matthew Green is MG, and that's what we're going to put on this one. All right. So what we do is these stamps go together. Where do you want MG to, do you want it to be right here? Um, how about right there? How about let's make it kind of match Sissy's. So Sissy's has trend here, so we'll do MG right here. Okay. Okay. So I've just dropped it in here. I'm going to push it down. Oops. And to make sure that they match up, you put them down together. And so I'll do this one together. M and G. So now I can pull the M out. Boom. That's a nice M. Make sure my G is done. M G. What do you think? Good. Let's Good. start decorating. All right. So now it's time to decorate with all our mosaic pieces. Yep, and you just stick them in there and they stay forever. But make sure you don't block your name and make sure you don't block the handprint, okay? And don't push too deep. using red blue and dark blue it's kind of hard to push the pieces in here because it's set up so much I think we should have decorated it sooner the instructions said to decorate decorate it after an hour but um, you didn't really get to put a whole lot of pieces in here either because your hand is in the way because it's a pretty mm. small piece right yeah and, yeah and I wish I had that piece so I get more yeah next time we do this we need to do a bigger stone mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but are you still happy with it yes okay that's all that matters Done. tell me about it okay i had i i added this, this piece all your greens huh oh you're talking about the gold ones yeah, because our shiny you, ones you do this that it looks like real gold that does way i did a lot of green because green is my favorite color and your middle name Yes, it is. <laughs> Are you proud of it? Yes, I just the way I did these for people, Bop. And that's why I did this one. Like, hey, why is there older? That's why I got the wet value. And also, all of this mwah, perfection. <laughs> mwah, perfection. All done. So here's mine. Um, I. <laughs> I tried to uh, to get Eli's hand to work as best as I could, um, and then I used the lettering to do our last name, the Corix. Uh, now that I think of it, the S totally needs an apostrophe, um, and then I just did a bunch of different color mosaics because I felt like that um, felt like that kind of embodied our family pretty well. So let me see if I can get this little apostrophe in here without creating any issues. Ta-da! The Corex. I'm not exactly a fan of the fact that the squares are around, so I think I'm going to try to play with those. Um, and the stones definitely set up way more than they needed to. Uh, we actually had to kind of strong arm some of our decorations in. But um, they're supposed to set for 24 hours after we're done stamping and all that. It says allow stone to cure for 24 to 48. So it says to allow. I'm laughing at the fact that there's a totally concrete in my hair. Um... It says to allow it to sit overnight before you try to get it out of the mold and clean it off. Um, so we're just going to let these guys sit up on the counter overnight. Um, and then 
24 to 48 hours before it's allowed to go outside um, where there's moisture and weather and things like that. So um, they need to set inside until tomorrow morning. Hopefully they'll come out of these molds okay. <laughs> okay, so it's the day. It's a day later. It's been 24 hours since we finished decorating and having fun with our stones. So it's time to try and pop them out of our molds. Um, they're a little crusty. I'm noticing there's, there's stuff all over them, so we came outside. Um, go ahead and flip over your molds. See if it'll come out. I think it will. Just pull the mold, pull the mold up. Look at that. Um, Drop it down on the ground. There you go. I just dumped mine over. It's got some rough edges on it, but they come off pretty well. We're gonna rub off the rough edges. But uh, otherwise they're done. We're gonna find them, their home outside. They're pretty solid. Um, we still have to wait a day or so before they're allowed to live outside, so we're going to put them up on our front porch until we can find, find homes for them outside in the yard. But, here we go. Finished project. Hold it up for me, Trin. Yeah. The back is really smooth. The back is really smooth. Is it heavy? Yes. You're holding it upside down, goofball. Yeah, yeah it's just cold. No, it's a... It's beautiful. All right, let's go put it up. Let's go put it on the front porch. So we're back inside. Um, the molds came out really, really well. Everything came out really, really well. The stones are super solid. Um, I didn't spray anything with cooking spray like I should have. Totally should have added more water than, um, than the instructions said. But otherwise, decorating, everything went well. We have a lot of extra pieces, um, extra mosaic pieces that we're going to have to find something new else to do with those. But uh, everything went really well. This is a really fun project. It took a very large chunk of the weekend, though, uh, with videos and editing and stuff like that. So I'm starting to realize that this uh, weekly video project is going to be quite the undertaking. But it was fun, right? Yeah. Yeah.